hello everyone welcome back to my channel so in this week's video i am going to be telling you guys some of my recently watched netflix movies most of these are like a newer netflix movies and yeah without further ado let's just get on to the video all right so the first one on my list is a movie called fear street they have three parts part one 1994 part two is the 1978 and the part three is the 1666 i would say it is has like the same vibe as stranger things and yeah so if you guys like to watch stranger things i would highly recommend this movie to you actually some of the stranger things cast also played in this movie which is sadie sink and maya ray thurman hawk the movie is rated 18 plus because probably of the um murder scenes and bloods and all that stuff so if you get like disturbed by that kind of things i, I wouldn't recommend you guys to watch this movie so yeah, that's it. So number two on my list is a movie called Afterlife of the Party. Victoria Justice starred in it. She's the one who played Tori in Victorious. And that's why I actually got interested to watch this movie. Actually, at first, I didn't expect it to be like a good movie, but it's actually not that bad. It's actually kind of okay. This is about like a girl who dies during a party and then she needs to like right her wrongs on earth if she wants to earn her wings. That means if she wants to go up to the heaven. So, yeah. This is quite a sad movie, I would say. So, if you guys usually cry during movies, you guys would probably cry. Okay, I'm just saying that. Anyway, that's that. Next one on my list is a movie called Sweet Girl. Jason Momoa and Isabella Merced played in here. If you don't know, Jason Momoa is the one who played Aquaman. And... I know Isabella Merced was a Nickelodeon actress. So this movie is about a mother who was dead because of like some kind of sickness and I think they're trying to get like a revenge or something like that. Yeah, I'm not really good at explaining things so I'm so sorry. But it's more of like an action movies you know? and I also love the plot you guys. I didn't expect it to be like that but yeah that's what makes this movie good all right so next up on my list is a movie called i care a lot this one is also a 2021 movie and this is about a court appointment legal guardian that frauds her older clients and traps them under her cave but her latest mark comes with some unexpected baggage i watched this right after i watched gone girl and <laughs> that's because of the actress is the same one so yeah and i would say that the storyline is kind of not similar but like you know the same type of storyline type thing yeah so yeah it's actually a really good one it's a really good movie i like this one quite a lot actually so yeah all right the next one which is the fifth one is an anime this is probably my first time mentioning an anime on my netflix recommendation things but yeah i watched this movie not not movie sorry uh, an anime it's called classroom of the elite and this one was a 2017 anime yeah i I'm, i was so sad honestly because it only has one season because the story is literally so good i love the main character so much and yeah i i, I just like this one a lot 
the next one on my list is the guilty this is about a troubled police detective assigned to 911 operator duty scrambles to save a distressed caller during a harrowing day of revelations and reckonings i loved it i love the storyline to be honest and it's very interesting as well and also i would say that it might get boring to some people because they only have like one setting but if you really get into the you know conversations the phone calls you'll really like this movie and i i also love the plot of, of this one so yeah Alright you guys, so number 7 is a movie called A World Without. This is an Indonesian Netflix produced film and this is actually very recent. I watched this like almost right after when it came out. It's about three teenage girls in search of happiness decide to join a reclusive community that forbids dating headed by a charismatic leader. I would say this is kind of like a dystopia type movie. One thing I would say for this movie is that for the ending, I didn't feel like it's actually ended. I don't know, maybe it's just me or no. So you guys should watch this movie and let me know how you think about this one. Alright, next up on my list, number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 this one is actually the most recent ones that i have watched it's called house of secrets the barari deaths this is a limited series about 11 family members found dead in their home which sparks a local and national frenzy perplexed investigator grapple with more questions and than answers this one has three episodes it's not that long you could watch this in one sitting literally which is what i did i think i watched it while i was doing my homework or something like that this is a very interesting documentary i would say that it feels like it's not real but it actually happens so yeah it's very interesting to watch you guys should watch it if you guys like you know this type of crime tv documentary stuff number nine we have night teeth so this is about a young driver who picks up two mysterious women for a night of party hopping but when his passengers reveal their true nature he must fight to stay alive so this is basically like a vampire movie but is more of like a thriller vampire movie like suspenseful and things like that i would say it's okay since i didn't really remember what happened during the ending yeah i am so sorry you guys but yeah i would say it's okay but like i wouldn't watch it again right so yeah next which is the last one on my list is probably what everyone has been talking about it is called squid game yay so the squid game i'm actually s still surprised that it's still on the top 10 list in my country today when i filmed this video this is a korean drama it's about hundreds of cash trapped players accept a strange invitation to compete in children's games inside a tempting prize awaits with deadly high stakes this one is very popular these days this series has nine episodes and i actually finished all of it in like a day because i just i don't know i just can't stop after watching an episode and i just have to watch the next one i would say it's very fun when you first watch this but i tried watching it the, for the second time but it's not as fun as when i watched it for the first time because you know you already know what happens next and stuff like that i don't know to me it's just it's really good when you watch it for the first time 
all right so that is it for my netflix recently watched movie list series type thing before i end the video i want to give some honorable mentions to some of these movies i watched recently and here they are monte carlo gone girl fractured colombiana okta fruits basket corpse bride texas chainsaw friend zone the holiday Tampan, or too handsome to handle the change up braven imperfect to the bone and lastly haikyuu all right so that is it for this week's video i hope you guys enjoyed the video and if you have any netflix recommendations go put it in the comments down below or you guys could just comment anything down below and yeah i will see you guys on my next one bye